Hey Stampers, welcome to the April Video Kit Club. This month we have a beautiful springtime card. I know we're all ready for winter to be finished and spring to be on its way. And the old saying is, April showers bring May flowers. And I've got the perfect card for you this month using a new artist, um, Jan Mayhew. And she is a local artist that um, was a customer in the store. And she has this beautiful drawing ability. So this month we are featuring um, her little two kids walking out in the rain in their little raincoats. And the technique we're going to be doing is paper piecing. It's a fun technique to use um, to add some bright colors or some, some color and detail without having to color it. And um, we're also going to be using some splatter technique to create raindrops. And then we're also going to be using um, sequins. Sequins have become very popular in the stamping industry or card making industry the last, I don't know, couple months, I guess. But they're fun to add to your card, a little bit of extra bling. And of course, we've got some glitter going on on the raindrops. Um, so this month in your kit, you are going to be getting the um, April Showers stamp set from Jan. You will get a small bottle of the waterfall glitter that we're using, and then um, you'll get a packet of the blue. Yours are going to be turquoise blue sequins. And um, in your in your kit or with your kit, if you have a personalized cutting machine, you can receive the cut files for free. And I have included a cut file for the umbrellas and the raincoats that we're going to be cutting out in this um, month's kit as well. So um, let's head over to my desk and let's get started stamping. Okay, so here's a closer look at the card. You can see that the um, umbrellas are cut out of the printed paper along with the um, raincoats. And then the rain is sparkled. And then there's these beautiful um, water splashes from, it looks like from the kids splashing in the puddles. And then the pretty little sequins. So let's get started on this month's card. You're going to start with your um, white piece of card stock and the main image um, stamp. And I'm just stamping it in Tuxedo Black Memento. I'm just going to go ahead and stamp more towards the top. Okay, so there we have the image. And then we're I'm using um, Distress Ink. I'm using the tumbled glass and a sponge dauber. And what we're going to do is daub the color onto the image. So load up your dauber. And the easiest way to get nice consistent color all the way around is to always start in the middle, use circular motions, and pull your color out. And since we're going to be um, covering up the umbrellas, it doesn't so much matter if you get it um, heavier in the center there. But always start in the middle and pull it out. And you can go as dark as you'd like, since um, it is the rain and the main focal of the card. I want it a little bit darker. And I'm going beyond the stamped image lines. And I'm just kind of like fading out the ink to the edges. Okay. And then when I'm happy with that, okay, there we go. Now, um, to create the watermarks that go around the edge, what we're going to do is take, I'm um, just using an old acrylic block or an acrylic block, and you're just going to swipe some um, of the ink right onto the block and see how it kind of puddles up there. Then I'm just going to take a um, water mister and add some water to it. 
and then using a paintbrush, you're just going to pick up, kind of mix some of that up, get some color, and then you're going to pick that up with your um, paintbrush, and then using your finger, you're just going to kind of flick it. And I went all over my card. You can put as much or as little on it. I just think it adds to the um, fun of the stamped image. And then we're going to go ahead and let that sit and dry. And then you can just clean off your acrylic block with a baby wipe. Now as that's drying, we're going to go ahead and go to our um, stamping on the paper piecing. And like I said, in um, with the kit, if you have a personal cutting machine like a Silhouette or a Pavels or something, and you can um, use SVG files, in this SVG file I um, designed the cuts to go exactly around the umbrella and the raincoats. So you can go into the um, into your machine and cut out all your um, umbrellas. And your card stack that you're getting is this really cute um, heart print with the word prints behind it. And then the other side is a pretty umbrella. And I just thought that was the perfect print um, for a springtime rainy card. So what um, I did is I cut out some on the heart side and then I flipped it over and I cut some out on the striped side so that you can mix and match what comes out on your card so you're not having all yellow or all stripes. You want to kind of um, blend it up some here so it's not all the same. If you don't have the machine then you're just going to have to cut stamp on your um, card stock here and then cut it out. And when you're stamping, you only need to stamp the umbrella and the coat par portion of the stamp. So um, go ahead and just stamp down in the corner. You're going to probably want to stamp like three times here and then flip it over and three times on that side and then you'll have enough pieces to make your card. Then you're going to go ahead and cut your pieces out. And I've cut out um, several of the different pieces. So I'm going to go with the um, striped umbrella up there and then the yellow one there and the yellow coat for that and then the striped coat wrong one striped coat for that side. And you're going to apply these with um, dimensional tape so that they are popped up. And you want to make sure that they get right over the lines. The umbrellas are going to go on with the, the dimensionals. The raincoats are just going to be put down with um, glue. So go ahead and put that one down then. And then for the um, raincoats, uh, the easiest way would probably be to use the glue pen because it's such a such a small area. And that again is going on with no um, dimensional going straight down on your card front. Okay. And then to add a little bit of color, I went ahead and I colored the boots. And I just picked some Copics. This is R14, a red. And then I've got a blue, this is B37. Just kind of finishes off the, the image there.
Okay, now let's go ahead and add our glitter. We're going to be using the waterfall. And a couple months ago you got a quickie glue pin in your kit. If you didn't um, get that kit, you'll want to make sure you get a quickie glue pin. They're available in the store. And remember, anything you add on to your um, purchase of your kit at that order is an extra 15% off. So I am just going to trace over the raindrops and the um, rain lines. And I'm not going to do all of them at one time. I'm going to, I'm going to work in areas. I'll clean that up in a minute. And I went down to the water puddle. And then you can go ahead and add some extra glitter down here where the splashes are. Just add a little bit more sparkle. <coughs> okay, <clears throat> now we're going to stamp the sentiment down at the bottom. And again, I'm just using the memento. And I kind of waited um, until after I splattered to stamp this because the um, ink can sometimes run with the um, splattering of that ink. So I just waited. And now that those are dry, I'm just going to go ahead and stamp this down here. Okay, now we're ready to add our sequins. And I'm using our dimensional glue, and I just want to put a little drop where I'm going to put the sequins. And I'm just putting five sequins on. You could put more or less. And if you have one of these um, quick sticks, this makes it real easy to pick up your sequins and press them down. It just really makes life easy. And then you can use this other end to kind of push them down into place when you're done there. Okay, and then this is going to go on your card front with your adhesive and there you go with your card. Really cute um, April springtimey card with some paper piecing. Hope you enjoy that and I will see you again next month for some more techniques. Happy stamping!